Hi everyone, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs. Welcome back to the channel. I just thought I'd jump on today to do another um, layout. Two cards, same pieces, slightly different layouts. Um, and I was having through a look through um, all this designer series paper that I've got lying about. And I thought, what haven't I used for a while? So I thought I'd choose one out of the annual catalogue and one out of the new spring summer catalogue. So I've chosen, I think it's called Playing With Patterns and the Dandy Garden. So I've got some pieces here that I've already um, cut out because you don't need to see me cutting just bits of paper. Um, but I'll talk you through all the measurements. So I thought I, what I'd do this is another layout that I use quite a lot, just a, a piece of designer series paper as the background and then different shapes um, across it. So I thought I'd go for this one today. I quite like this one. I mean, you can swap and change this. So you could have different ones. Or you could have two that way and one that way. Or if you turned it over, you could have it that way around. But then that doesn't look right on the, I don't like that on the Misty Moonlight. So we'll go with the other way. And then I've cut out some squares. I've cut the slightly bigger one in, in Misty Moonlight and Bumblebee. And two smaller ones in Basic White. And then with this one, I thought we'd have some spots, because I like spots. We'd have some stripes as well. Um, and we'd just try laying these out in a slightly different way. So... I'm going to do the dandy garden one first and I'm just winging it and just let's go for it and just see what happens. Um, and if we don't like it at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because it's just a bit of paper and a bit of card. And I'm also, I wanted some um, cards for people moving into a new house because I'm always getting asked for those when I do craft fairs. I haven't really got any. So I thought I'd drag this one out coming home and just use the little, <coughs> oh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, just use the little house, even though, you know, the size of it there only looks like a shed. Um, and I'd also, I haven't got a sentiment for welcome to your new house or anything like that, but I thought I could put the good luck and, get, and give that a whirl and see how that happens, see how that works. So we'll go for it anyway. So this is my standard card base, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. So I'm just going to score that at four and one eighth. And I'll do the bumblebee one while I'm here. And then I can put the scoreboard away. So how are you all doing? Is everybody okay? Thank God for crafting is all I can say in this time. There we go. So there's the card base. So I've already cut this designer series paper to four by five and three quarters. And I just thought that could sit. Be good if it could sit the right way up, wouldn't it? We don't want them upside down, these dandelions, do we? And that could just sit in the middle there like that. So I'll get some glue. Just add that with a little border all the way around the outside, like that. Now, shall we do these straight onto the top, or shall we put them on some? I think we'll put them on, cut some more cardstock, I think, to sit them on. So I've got some scraps of co-op. That's three and three quarters by one. So we'll try 
got some scraps here. We'll try one and one and a quarter. Might be too big that. I think that's too big, so let's chop that down to one and an eighth. Let us say that was three and three quarters, so we'll make this three and seven eighths and see what that looks like. Should we do that? Yeah, we'll do that. So, cut another two. And these are just bits of card that I've got, scraps of card that I've got left lying about. Doesn't look very straight. Let's cut it there. And let's score line and get rid of that bit. Seems a bit skew with that one. Let's have a look. Trouble is, when it's a small piece like that, it sometimes jumps, doesn't it? Goodness me, that one looks bigger now. What am I doing? Have a look. I think that's better actually because that's only got a tiny border. So I've messed up my me, me measurement somewhere, but hey ho. As I said, it's only a bit of card. Doesn't matter. So how wide's this one? It's not wide enough. So we'll have a chunk off here. And hopefully that, no, that's not wide enough, bear with me. I'll grab a piece out of here, loads of bits. So I'm going for one and one eighth. By three and seven eighths. Let's have a look at that now. That looks wider than those. <laughs> I'll get this right in a minute, won't I? Must have done it to just one. We'll chop a bit more off. See, so it's all about just um, having a go, just mixing and matching. Let's have a look and see how that is now. Oh, I don't know what I've done with these. Might have to chop the bees down a bit as well. Let's chop the bees down a little bit. It's all trial and error. That's better. And if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter. It's a handmade card at the end of the day. So let's have a look at that then. We'll get some Tombow, stick these on. I think that's better with just a tiny border. Oh, good 
Miss me, this is still not right. Stick that on and then chop it off. My eyes must be a bit skew with today. <laughs> I'll straighten these up in a minute. Right. It's actually the designer series paper that's off on that one. Throw that one in the bin, do that one again. I'm not doing very well here, am I? See, I normally have everything planned out perfectly before I come on. I don't like to leave things to chance. So let's see if we can find another piece of that. There we go. And um, we'll get a ruler this time to so measure it on there. So the design series paper is 15 sixteenths, just to be awkward. That's because I've been chopping and messing about with it, isn't it? Yep. And we'll have another piece of, mid, uh, what's it called? Misty Moonlights. That is one and one sixteenth. Good job this um, trimmer's got sixteenths on it, isn't it? Get there in a minute. Mm, not chop that one down. What do we chop that one down to? Four and three, three and three quarters. Sorry, everyone, I'm making a meal of this one. Right, there we go. But if I didn't show you when things went wrong, you wouldn't know how to fix them, would you? <laughs> That's my excuse, anyway. So, now we'll arrange these on here. And these bees are going all different ways, so I don't think it really matters which way round we do it, we go. And then I've got a big piece. But I think we might put the yellow one on. What do you think? Put the yellow one on and then stamp on that layer. I quite like that one. So, put these on dimensionals. And I'm going to line it up so that I can see where they should go. So I hope everybody's orders are starting to come through now with all the um, difficulties we've had at the ports. I'm still waiting for mine. Um, but I think they're starting to move now. But what with Brexit and COVID, we move it to the measure at the side here. So we'll start about, I'm just going to lay these down. I'm not going to stick them, she says, it's catching. But I'm not going to push them down yet. That 
one needs to go up a bit. So what's everybody's favourite um, sweet in the new catalogue? Mine is um, the Fine Art Floral. I think it's absolutely beautiful. There we go. That's fairly straight, that'll do. So I think I'll put the other one together and then we'll do the stamping all at once. Have a slurp of my coffee. So yeah, I really like the fine art floral and um, I'm waiting for the pretty perennials. Are called pretty perennials? Perennial petals? Can't remember. Pretty perennials, I think. Um, I think we'll do this one as a landscape card. So I thought we'd have the stripes going down like that. I've not chopped that yet. And we'd have those going across in some way. So let me cut this one down first to five and three quarters. So this is four by five and three quarters. So that goes on there like that. So I'll stick that down. I'm absolutely loving the um, designer series papers that are free in celebration. They are amazing this time. Really, really nice. Well, they are if you like flowers. Oops, no, that's not straight. Off. That's better. There we go. And I think we'll just stick these straight down. Because I can't be doing with um, cutting all those bits out again. <laughs> While you're all sat there laughing at me. So we'll go with, we'll have one on this side. And over here. And then we'll have this one on this side, I think, like that. It's just to give the front a little bit of interest. If, you, if you're, all you're doing is, is using designer series paper, it's just a way of, of showing it off and showing more than one at a time which I think is quite good. So then we can put that where shall we put that? Could put that on that side or we could have it on that side. I think I actually prefer the yellow one on there. I think I'll change my mind and put the blue one on there and the yellow one and this one. Anyway, let's have a look at the stamping. So because it's for a new house, as I say, I thought I'd use the little, the little house. So I'm gonna stamp that in. What shall I stamp it in? Misty Moonlight, I think. And then I might do might do black for the for the other one. Let's line that up. And put a house in the middle. That's cute. And then we'll put the good look over the top. Oops, sorry if my head's in the way. Okay, it's a little bit skew with, but it'll do. So then we'll add that to there. And 
and this square by the way the big one is um two and five eighths and the small one is two and one eighth so just do the other one black get the memento out smudged it. Let me die cut another one. We found some scraps. It's all going wrong today, isn't it? Bear with me while I do another one. Just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I don't want to bring the big shot over here. There's not enough room on the desk for it. I prefer it over there out my way. I'm still working on the old big shop. Let's test it this time. That's better. That's better. Although I do think this memento, memento might need... Um, Re-inking. Uh, it does. It's uh, That's a bit smudged too, but I'm not doing it again now. I'll sort it out later. We'll just stick it on here for now. I'll make another one. I won't sell it like this at the craft fairs. Can't even get it on straight either. Must be one of those days. There we are. I think I'll go there with that one. We need some bits for the inside so what shall we do with these should we put a bit of DSP on these why not so we'll have a half inch strip of the B one and we can add that across there and a half inch strip of the purple one Add that on that one just to make a little bit of interest on the inside or shall I turn it over no yeah no I won't <laughs> not very decisive either today am I so I'll just leave about half an inch or so at the bottom there quarter of an inch and then we'll turn it over and chop that bit off. And chop that off too. 
come close to the inside of the cards. Yeah, so that one will have to go that way, wouldn't it? Full. There we go. Doesn't matter because the bees are flying in all different directions, aren't they? one on here. So there you go. We'll put this one on here with um, some more dimensionals, I think. put some dimensionals on the back of this one but I'm not sticking it down yet because I'm going to pull that whisper wire that basic wire layer off and um, do it again you don't need to watch me do that for the third time so there you go all the same size pieces again but different colors different patterns you see those properly um, oh, that looks a bit wonky. I hope you've been able to see what I've been doing. I have to stand up to see the camera view. I was messing about with the camera beforehand to try and get it to film in landscape instead of portrait. And then I forgot to check you could see everything that I was doing. So I hope you've been able to see it all. Um, so there you go. Now this could just as easily have been any designer series paper um just happened to be that these were the two that i pulled out but you just get the basic idea you can chop and change as much as you like change the colors change the um designer series papers and this you could make 10 cards all using these bits but they'd all look completely different because they're all different colors and different dsps and you can put different sentiments on them so it's good to have a, a stock of um, layouts that you can just use whenever you're stuck for a quick card. Um, and as I said, I do this sort of thing all the time, making cards for craft fairs, because trying to, you can't make too many that are all the same because then you're stuck with a lot of stock that's all the same. And if people don't like what you've done in that particular version, you don't want to be stuck with 10 of them. So I try to do lots of different different papers, different orientations, different sizes, so that um, I can please as many people as possible. And craft fairs can't come back fast enough for me. I am so, I've got so much stuff you wouldn't believe. Anyway, that's enough of me wittering on. All the sizes for these will be over on my blog, craftycarandesigns.blogspot.com. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.